have that there. I don't even really like these. I think that's also like something else that is like personal going on. Hey, seriously, it's been recording. <laughs> yeah, I talked to myself. Did you know that? <laughs> Sometimes I'm my own sounding board. And you can be like, it's because I ain't got nobody else. There's some truth and there's some false truth in that. Essentially, I push everyone away. People don't understand me, but they also don't understand themselves. So I can't take it personal. Today, I'm going on a trip that I wasn't necessarily planning on going. However, I knew and know it's vital and it has been planned all along for generations to come. And today I make the choice to follow through, <laughs> being in full communication with my highest self. People are so brainwashed by thinking high as being drugs. We live in such a brainwashed world. And we are also brainwashed into being humiliated over drug use or any addictions, whether it be sexual, food, excuse me, I'm multitasking on a multidimensional level. I know you can't quite comprehend that right now. <sighs> oh, I'm upset. I don't, let me see. My, is that true? It seems to be true so far. Oh, and I win. I thought I didn't have my card, so I assumed that I wouldn't be allowed to have orange juice. I haven't eaten anything today. I ate a lot in the middle of the night. It's true. Uh, they, I'm so happy to be sharing these things with you. The education that isn't necessarily provided so openly by others and their personal experiences. Why is she talking like that? <laughs> I hear your voices. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm extremely intuitive and I am here to help the collective of service and you need to know that it's not me it is the I am the divine the divinity in me namaste that's what namaste means <sighs> Jab one what one welcome aboard Trini Christine Mason here in case you're not sure and you found yourself listening this far so it started off with uh, charms, this necklace that somebody ordered for me, which I didn't ask for this item and they don't really know me so they don't know my attachment to this symbolism okay it's a hatchet girl and if anybody that actually truly knows me as a juggalo knows that I'm a juggalo I'm not a let I have never really held the title of that. Like, I have totally participated in the Jugglet contest once learning, however, the Let contest was not like the old Let contest. <laughs> uh, I can't lie, I'm a wicked clown at heart. So those are the things that just come to my genuine mind. So it's just like something enlightening in myself make me come to the inner girl. Basically, I guess that may be the subconscious rejection of the symbol. And also exactly like, uh, there's a lot of negative and like degrading connotation. And just like exactly, it's like, yeah, it's not like that. Like I'm a demisexual. Like I have to have an emotional connection. And it's like, it's extremely like sentimental, you could say. <laughs> And then 
also sapiosexual, so I require a, a being essentially who intrigues me on the emotionally intellectual, I'd like to say connotation, however, I do not believe that is the most appropriate word for the delivery of the experience I would like to share that is, I'd like to say geld, <laughs> exactly, I'm still exercising my language, my inner dialogue, and having the ability to express what's within. There's part insecurity that I've pressed slow-mo and this is totally lost. You can only imagine how many times things have been lost or you think that you're recording or that something else is going on. My heart is just like burning and bursting out my chest and also so broken and I can feel like all the stagnation in the center of my, uh, my sternum. And yeah, I need to like give it some love and attention and also my lungs and breathe air and exercise and like in some levels I've been the shadow of the hermit going within myself way too much and exactly accessing these higher chakras or elements or consciousness instead of getting grounded and embodying the higher dimensional self All I can think about is flowers. <laughs> I'm in love with flowers and botany. I'm into so many things and my heart is tugged so many different directions. Like botany, marine biology, anatomy, traditional Chinese medicine acupuncture, pulse diagnosis, tongue diagnosis, professional race car driver, <laughs> biologist, aromatherapist, craniosacrotherapist, empathy therapist, <laughs> Uh, so much pain. I'm laughing off the pain and awkwardness of my individuality. My chest is just like killing me. There's like complete compression. I know. I know. Can we go? Whoop. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to see when people have like separate consciousness and they don't get... I know a lot of people take pride in the hive mind, although there's a lot of shadow to hive mind. A lot of shadow work going on and integration of shadow and embracing what is as is. Although there's shifts happening as that happens, like there's a lot of different sides of the spectrum. Removing all judgment and attachment to seems to be the ultimate solution. Traveling is one of my favorite things in the world. I'll admit it's partially my fear, especially traveling alone. Although that's kind of like sentimental and makes me want to go at it alone or exactly find an army or people who are sincere and speak with their actions and who are always beside me instead of saying that, oh, I wish we could be together or that, oh, I, I, like, I'll see you later. It's just a matter of where our hearts are at exactly like who do we want to be surrounded by what are the communities that we're building like are we even conscious anymore are we ever purposely buying houses next to our neighbors and our friends or is it just always sexual relations in what ways have you been conditioned I'm so grateful to be here i wish i could find matt's oj I want to park here across the way and then maybe walk across if I have to. I haven't been doing yoga. I haven't been being mindful of my prayers and my words. I haven't been taking my time. Or perhaps I have. I've been going the exact way and I'm just judging harshly against myself and it is false. 
And maybe partially it's you bashing down on me, telling me, like, oh, no, I'm no good. Or trying to not see us on equals. The illusion is that we are all separated. That's, like, one of the hardest shadows to integrate. It's, like, exactly, we keep trying to act like we're not, like, part of the whole cosmic dance. Like, all together. Ugh. <sighs> Ooh, <laughs> mood, brah. Are you saying me too? Just like, I literally feel like the center of my chest has been grabbed and then like squinched up like an orange. Like compress everything into the center. And there's like all this pressure. I'm just like, all right, just pop my heart out already. And it's just like, it's not happening. So it's like, ah, the pressure, the pressure. I'm like, it makes me want to put like weight on my chest. Or do push-ups, or exactly do heart opening, center, higher heart, and center. Ooh. I love coming here. I mean, it makes things convenient, though it's still pretty annoying, too, though. Because they upcharge on Earth that! Earth down that! Mm. <laughs> I always park the same spot, too. Always. My back. I need to park and pop my back. Wait. Oh. My back is so messed up. Help. Oh. Why is there always judgment? It's like the children are always looking at you and people are mimicking you. There's always these mirrors. Everybody's just a mirror. You don't gotta be like what you see. You gotta do what people tell you to do. Even if it's for money, like, why do you have to sell yourself? Chill. I'm offering personal guidance. Personal, intuitive guidance. I like saying personal attention. However, a lot of people are only having one thing on the brain. This is due to certainly blockages in their roots. All right, I will uh, BRB, and I might even actually bring you with me in there. Because even in the organic stores, by the way, you guys, a lot of these things aren't organic. It's not, it's an illusion, and there's still artificial flavor. It's, it's horrible. And it's just like certain little things that allows them to say that it's still natural. <sighs> Man made, you gotta get it natural, like real fruits and veggies and stuff. Alright, we'll see what's up. Love you, bye.